and today we'll learn how uh, about time stamp ordering protocol okay so time stamp Time stamp is an unique identifier created by DBMS to identify a transaction in ascending order. So, time stamp is an unique identifier identifier created by DBMS to identify a transaction in ascending order. Okay, suppose you have your transactions given as T1, T2, T3, T4, and these are the timestamps assigned by DBMS okay so it means this is the youngest transaction and this one is the oldest transaction okay because uh, it was created at uh, um, suppose time 10 it was created at time 20 it was created at time 30 and it was created as time 40 it means T4 is the youngest transaction and the T1 is the oldest transaction. Okay, so now we'll talk about read timestamp. Okay. Highest uh, transaction time, highest transaction time is stamp value that has performed read operation successfully okay. suppose we uh, we are given uh, uh, transactions as t1 t2 T3 and T4 okay so and the time stamps of these transactions are 10 20 30 40 it means T4 is our youngest transaction and T1 is the oldest transactions and there are few operations given read operation on data item A write operation on data item A by transaction T1 it means read operation is done by transaction 1 uh, w1 means uh, write operation is performed by transaction t1 okay so after that uh, we have r3 on a r2 on a and we have a write operation performed by transaction t4 so what will be the right time stamp uh, read time stamp for data type item a so rts of a which is read timestamp of data item A. So we can see here that uh, read operation was performed by transaction T1. So initially it was 0. So it was performed by transaction T1. So it will be updated to transaction T100. Okay. So now there is no other uh, read operation performed by transaction T1. Now we will come to other transactions. So we can see here that after T1, T3 has performed read operation on data item A. So it will be updated to 30 because the timestamp of this transaction is 30. It means is that a transaction which is having 30 as timestamp has performed a read operation successfully. Okay. So now after that we see that uh, read operation is performed by transaction T2. But the transaction the time stamp of transaction t2 is less than the time stamp of transaction t3 so it will be 30 only we will not update it to 20 because it always uh, by looking at the read time stamp of a data item a we can come to know that what was the youngest transaction which has performed read operation on a data item a okay so here 
first it was 0 so we updated it to 10 because 10 is greater than 0 after that we made it 30 because 30 is greater than 10 but though transaction t2 has performed a red operation on data item a but this is having the less uh, time stamp then the transaction which previously performed the red operation it means it will be 30 only okay so what I have said here, highest transaction timestamp value that has performed read operation successfully. It means that the read timestamp of data item A will be 30. Okay. We will talk about write timestamp now. Write time stamp. Highest transaction time stamp value that has performed write operation success fully ok so we will uh, consider this example only so what will be the write timestamp of A we can see here that transaction T1 has done a write operation on A so it will be 10 initially it was 0 we assume that initially it was 0 so transaction T1 has performed write operation so we have updated the write timestamp of A ok now we go to uh, the next operation is uh, read operation done by T3 next operation is done by T2 and after that there is another operation which is performed by T4 and this is write operation on A so the what is the timestamp of T4 that is 40 and 40 is greater than 10 it means we will update it to 40 it means the read timestamp of A is 30 and write timestamp of A is 40 ok now we'll discuss about basic timestamp ordering protocol. Basic time stamp ordering protocol. This timestamp ordering protocol says that if a transaction T1 issues read on data item A operation then if write timestamp of data item A is greater than the timestamp of transaction T1 which issues read operation then rollback T1 otherwise allowed the read operation by transaction T1 and set or update the read timestamp of A is to max of read timestamp of A or the timestamp of T1 Okay, I'll take an example here to make it more clear. Okay,
ठीक है सो आर टी एस ऑफ एज जीरो इनिशियली टी वन परफॉर्म द रीड ऑपरेशन सो इट विल बी अपडेटेड टू टेन आफ्टर द टी थ्री अपडेटेड परफॉर्म द रीड ऑपरेशन ऑन ए सो इट विल बी अपडेटेड टू थर्टी एंड आफ्टर द टी टू परफॉर्म द रीड ऑपरेशन ऑन ए बट एज आई सेट दैट वी हैव टू सेट द वैल्यू ऑफ आर टी एस टू द मैक्स वैल्यू एंड दैट इज थर्टी इट सेल्फ सो वी विल नॉट अपडेटेड टू ट्वेंटी एंड इट विल बी थर्टी ओनली ओके सो दिस इज इन द केस ओनली वेन ट्रांजेक्शन टी वन इशूज अ रीड ऑपरेशन सेकेंड इज इफ ट्रांजेक्शन टी वन इशूज राइट ऑपरेशन ओके if write time stamp of a is greater than time stamp of t1 then roll back it means that a youngest transaction has performed the read operation on data item a and we are trying to write it that's not possible in basic ordering uh, time protocol okay basic time stamp ordering protocol that's not possible if a youngest transaction has performed read operation on a data item a then then that cannot be written by a um, uh, older transaction actually so we have to roll back the t1 this is first case second case if right stamp of a is greater than the transaction of t1 then roll back t1 okay it says that suppose a transaction t1 is trying uh, to write a data item a and the right is time stamp of a is greater than the time stamp of the transaction t1 it means that a youngest transaction has performed the right operation on data item a and now all the transaction is trying to write that item so that's not allowed by basic basic ordering time protocol so we have to roll back t1 otherwise else uh, allow write operation by t1 and set the write time stamp of a wts of a um max is not allowed here actually time stamp of t1 okay so this is all about basic time stamp ordering protocol i'll take an example to make it more clear okay t2 t3 suppose um, tj w a 10 20 and t a okay so what will be the rts of uh, a initially it was zero when it operation was uh, so we can see here uh, that uh, So transaction T1 is uh, applying read operation on A, and the time stamp will be updated to 10. Okay. So now transaction T2 is applying a write operation on data item A. So we check the first case here. If the write time stamp of A is greater than the time stamp of T1. Okay. T1 means uh, any random uh, transaction. It's not T1 only. It can be any transaction. Okay. So, what is the time stamp of transaction which is applying write operation? That is 20. And what is the read operation? Uh, read time stamp of is that is 10. It means 
this case is not true false and what is the right time stamp of a that is zero we check second case here this is right time stamp of a is greater than the time stamp of t1 but that is false actually because the right time stamp of a is zero and the time stamp of the transaction is 20 it means this case is also false now we can allow write operation okay so we allow write operation done by t2 and we set the right time stamp of a to the time stamp of transaction t1 so that will be <coughs> set to 10 now uh, we will talk about this operation transaction t1 is applying read operation on data item a okay so if transaction t1 issues a right, uh, read operation on if that right time stamp of a is greater than the, the time stamp of t1 then roll back t1 okay sorry it's 20 my mistake it's 20 okay because time stamp of transaction t2 is 20 okay so now t1 is applying a read operation on data item a but we can see here so time stamp of t1 is 10 wts of a is 20 so if right time stamp of a is greater than the time stamp of t1 then roll back t1 so this operation is not allowed here because a younger transaction has performed a right operation on a jet item a so that cannot be read by an older transaction okay so as per the uh, rule we have to roll back this transaction okay so that's it only about basic time system modern protocol hope it helps thanks for watching the video